Hello everybody and welcome back to our Python lecture. So this lecture will be kind of short, but it's actually going to be quite fun because we will be talking about doc strings and comments. So what exactly are doc strings? Well, doc strings are not really a Python thing. It's more of a design choice in computer science. So it's basically descriptions about your functions that allows other computer scientists who are looking at your code or who are editing your code to understand exactly what you are doing. Like, what is the purpose of your function? Why is it there? Why did you choose it to um, perform actions in a specific manner? So that's basically what a doc string does. So it's good design practice because it basically cleans up your code and polishes it. It's kind of like a report for your code. So doc strings always start with triple quotation marks and ends with triple quotation marks. And it's usually done um, after your function header. <clears throat> comments are not exactly doc strings. Comments are extremely useful in not only Python but in other programming languages as well because you can type a line description in English of what specific thing is happening or why did you decide to code something that specific. For example, why did you use an AND statement instead of a FOR statement? Why did you prefer to use a FOR loop instead of a WHILE loop? Um, why did you decide to use two functions instead of just combining them to one function? So these are, I'm just giving very vague examples but comments can actually help other programmers to follow your code easily because by the end of the day we're coding and coding is not always easy to understand at first sight. So these comments can actually save a lot of time and then when other people are looking at your code they'll, they'll be like oh okay now I understand why this guy's um, coding in this manner for example. So comments always begin with a hashtag. So whenever you see a hashtag, that means it is a comment. Before we get to our next lecture, let me just provide an example of a dot string and a comment. So looking at a function example, let me type in dot string. So you can see here, I have three quotation marks and the three closing quotation marks. I can say a function that multiplies each item of a list by the given value. And notice here that in my doc string example, I didn't provide an explanation for what my code does line by line because that is the worst mistake you can actually do when documenting doc strings. Because a doc string is just like a summary of what your function actually does, but the line by line thing is where your comments come in. So let me give an example of a comment. So I'm going to use, use a hashtag. Say iterating through given list. And then I can use another comment where it says multiply item by given value. Okay? And then I can say just return hashtag return the updated list. So this is an example of a function where you can use both a doc string and given and sorry comments. But remember, do not type too many comments because that can also be ugly and it can make your work look distracting. Because a programmer likes to know general things. Like for example, here in my for loop, you're iterating through a given list. That's actually kind of obvious. So I could just get rid of that. Do not type comments for things that are too obvious for other programmers to understand. Type comments for things that you've decided to code in a specific manner 
that other programmers may not understand at first, because too many comments can just seem disruptive. Thank you so much, and try practicing some previous lecture material that we've covered, but at the same time, I want you to get a hang of uh, writing comments while coding, because this is actually very good design practice for programmers. All right, stay tuned. Thank you.